In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this text glitch effect with a static background. Let's get started. I'm working on a canvas size of 1920 by 1080. So first, let's turn our background black. Perfect. Now let's invert these colors. And I'm just going to type out glitch. Shift home. Let's make this a bit bigger. Go with 500. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to increase the kerning. That means the space between the letters. And you can do that right here under your tool options. And let's go for a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Okay, now let's center this on the canvas. Click on your background layer. Select your align tool. Click on your text and center align vertically and center align horizontally. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now click on your text, go to layer, layer to image size. Now right click on your text and go alpha to selection. Create a new layer. Okay, now we're gonna select our colors. I'm gonna go with this pinkish purple color first. Okay, go edit, fill with foreground color. Now with everything still selected, create a new layer. Okay, we're gonna select our, diff our second color. And I'm going with this light blue. Okay, and repeat, edit, fill with foreground color. Perfect. Now grab your original white layer, move it to the top, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Go to select, none. Now grab your move tool, click on your blue layer, hold down control, and move it over. That looks pretty good. Now click on your pink layer, just turn off the blue. Same thing, hold on, hold down with your move tool, hold control and move it over. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my layers back on and see what that looks like. Okay, that looks pretty good. Actually, let me move the blue in a little bit more. There, that looks pretty good. Okay, now turn off your background, the black. And now you can do this one of two ways. Either right click on your layers and go new from visible. And what that does is that creates a new layer with everything visible. Or, control Z. Let me delete that real quick. Turn those back on. Or you can click on your canvas, right click on your canvas, edit, copy visible, edit, paste as new layer. It reaches the same effect, it's just a matter of preference. So I'm gonna leave it like that, it looks pretty good. I turned off my other layers. Next thing you wanna do is grab your rectangle tool and just a nice thin square over your text. You're gonna right click, go to select, float. And as when your cursor turns to the move tool, hold down the left mouse and control and shift it over a little bit. There you go. Click on the canvas to anchor that layer. I'm gonna do that again. Right click, select, float. Hold it down, hold control, shift it over. Click on your canvas, or you can click the little anchor to anchor the float, the floating layer. And again, make this one just a little bit thicker. Right click, select, float. 
hold down your mouse and control move it over anchor and let's do it one more time make this one kind of thin there it goes right click select float hold on your mouse and control and move it over and anchor the floating selection looks pretty good now we're going to close these gaps put the letters closer together we're going to use the same technique still with your rectangle select tool go over the G right click select float click on the letter hold on control and shift it over and we're going to do this process for all the, all the letters select float it over all right now that you have all your letters close together we're going to go to layer crop to content and recenter it click on your background layer go to your align tool select the text center align vertically and horizontally perfect now go back to your new glitch layer and we're going to shear it a little bit we're just going to make it slant a little bit let's go with a hundred run a hundred that looks pretty good right there shear go to layer layer to image size now what I want to do is I'm gonna add a little a little glow on it so I'm gonna duplicate my layer now select the bottom layer go to filters blur Gaussian blur and I want just a little blur not a whole lot let's go with Go with three, you know, a little bit more than that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Go with four, okay. Now to add to the glitch effect, I'm gonna go to filters, blur, pixelize. And there it goes, that looks pretty good. Actually, just lower that a little bit. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on my, my background to see what that looks like real quick. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. All right. Now I'm going to add something in the background that to make it look like static. I'm going to go to my black background, duplicate that layer, and I'm just going to create some noise. So I'm going to go to filters, noise, CIE, each noise. I'm going to turn down the doling, turn up the lightness all the way, and turn up the hue all the way to 100. And 180 respectively now you can click new seed to see different patterns see which one you like now on the mode I'm going to change the mode to burn to add some color now click OK now on the layer you just added the noise to you're going to right click apply layer mask you want black full transparency add now over here you're going to switch back to black and white. Now make sure your black and white is selected where black is your foreground color and white is your background color. Grab your radiant tool. Go with shape radial. Click near the T. And bring that out. And you can see. There it goes. That looks pretty good. Hit enter to lock it in. And you're all set. That's your glitch effect with a static background. If this has helped you, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.